Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we will start with the deployment of Postgres and PG Admin. I have done the YAML file for the port creations. Let us have a look at the YAML file. We have the port, port, node port at 3432. The, Im the image what we are using will be the Postgres latest and the image pull policy will be if not present. Let us go to Docker Hub and check it out for the Postgres image. I will just show you. Yeah, Let us click on Docker Hub. Type in Postgres. We will find the official image over here. If you click on latest, it will take you to GitHub where you can find the Docker file for the image creation of Postgres. You have a detailed documentation of Postgres. Over here, you can have a look at it. Now, let us look for the PG admin Docker image also. We don't have an official image for PG admin. So I'll be going with the deep page PG admin 4 which is over 10 million pulls and it is updated 4 days ago and moreover it is working fine for me. You can go through the documentation over here. Anyway you have got all the YAML files created. You don't have to worry much about it. Thirty-four, thirty-two. That that's a Postgres node port, and the PG admin will be running on thirty-two hundred. We have the password and username as admin. Now, what we will do? Is we'll do it. We'll do a kubectl apply. Let, let, let me do a listing because I am not sure whether I am I am in the correct directory. I will change it to Postgres where you can find the Postgres workload.yaml. Let me just clear the screen because let me just clear the screen. I will do a listing again. And now we will do a kubectl apply minus f Postgres workload.yaml. We will do an apply for the PG admin also. We change the directory first. kubectl apply pg admin workload.yaml. A typo. Yeah, let's do a kubectl get all and check whether everything is in place. Yeah, you're having both the PG admin and Postgres working. They are running at thirty four thirty two and thirty two hundred. Since I have been starting and stopping Minikube for the recording, I have to check my Minikube IP. So I will do it by Minikube IP. Yeah, 
192, 168, 99, 101. Let me open the browser. I'll type in the IP import. Yeah, we have the PG admin login screen. We'll put the paid passwords. Admin and admin. Click on login. Click on create server. Name the database. Name the database. You put it as pgdb and the connection put in the uh, minikube ip port number will be 3432 username we can put it as postgres and the password will be root Sorry, I missed it. I missed the port. Sorry. It's 3432. Double checking it. Click on save. Yeah, we have the database is running. It's a maintenance database and the other other one which you created. So that's for this video. So bye for now. If this video has given you something, please click on the subscribe button. Put your suggestions in the comment below. Thank you. We will catch up in the next video.